but on the very most basic of the example, you guys have 4 equals the square root of x. Now, we have already practiced doing problems like 4 equals x squared. We've also done like, um, uh, well, actually, that's, uh, or even like 4 equals x plus 1. And again, guys, we're talking about inverse operations. This is basically what we're going to be doing again. So if you guys look at this, you can see the x is being added to 1. So you would subtract 1, right? You guys are familiar with that. That's solving one step equations. Over here, we see that this, the x is being squared. So we undo the squaring, which would be taking the square root on both sides, right? Now remember, when we introduce the square root, we have to include the positive and the negative. So it's plus or minus 2 equals x, all right? But we're using the inverse operations. So here, in these examples, I have the square root of x. So the inverse operation of the square root of x is going to be, what's the inverse operation of squaring? A square root. So the inverse operation of square root would be squaring. So what we're going to do is we're going to square both sides. Therefore, this pertains 16 equals x. Now, as I mentioned, it's very important for us to go back and plug in our answer just to make sure that that answer is correct. So if I plug in 16 in for x, now obviously this is a very basic problem, uh, but we'll get into ones that are going to be more difficult. Well, the square root of 16 is just going to be 4. So 4 equals 4, which works out. All right, But it is going to be very important for you guys to check your answers. And what I like to relate this on is the rational expressions.